Hi, and welcome to the how to build a NetApp on tap lab for free course. In this first lecture, I'm going to give you an overview of how the lab works, what the different components are, and how we're going to build it. This course is actually a companion course for the free PDF of the same name, which you can download from my website. To get the PDF, you can see I've got it open here. Go to www.flatbox.com, the address you can see there at the top of the PDF. So with the PDF, it's got really simple step-by-step -step instructions, like you can see here, that tell you exactly how to build the lab. I've made this video course for you as well, so that if you do have any problems as you're going through the PDF, you can see a real-time demo of how I actually build the lab here. Okay, so you can get the PDF from my website. That's also where you can get exercises that you can run in the lab as well. So in the PDF and in this course, I'm going to show you how to build the lab so that you're ready to start practicing configurations on on tap if you want to see the different types of configurations that you can do then you can go to my website at www.flatbox.com and go to slash tutorials for the tutorials and if you see in the menu up here i've got tutorials and there are the net app training videos so you can go there to see a whole bunch of different training videos about the different NetApp things you can do in the lab. I've also got a NetApp on tap complete training course there as well. If you enroll in that, you'll see that this is the exact same lab that I use in the course as well. Okay, so let's have a look at how the lab is going to work. So I'll go back to the PDF here and I'll go to the lab topology diagram. Let me just make this a bit bigger for you. Okay, so let's talk about the different components that make up the lab. Now, you don't need any hardware for the lab at all, apart from a PC, or either a desktop or a laptop, that you're going to be running the lab on, because it's all going to be running in software using VMware. For VMware, I'm using VMware Workstation Player, which is also free as well. So you don't need to buy any hardware. It all runs in software and all of the software is completely free. Okay, so you can see in our lab topology diagram here, the different components that we are going to be running in VMware. So I've got a couple of on tap clusters. I've got cluster one, which is a two node cluster. So we've got cluster one, node one and cluster one, node two. And I've also got a separate cluster two cluster as well. The reason that we've got the two clusters is so that you can play with the on tap replication technologies of snap mirror and snap vault. You can move data between the two different clusters. Normally you're going to be just working on cluster one. You can leave cluster two powered off to save resources on your laptop. But when we are doing replication, turn them both on for that. We also need clients to be able to use the storage system as well. And I've divided these into a department A and a department B. The reason I've done that is so that you can play with the multi-tenancy features on ONTAP. That's our SVMs, our storage virtual machines. So we've got department A and department B, and they have both got a Windows client and a Linux client as well. So you can play about with the two different types of clients. The Windows servers here are also our Active Directory domain controllers and our DNS servers for the lab as well. The other thing that we've got in here is a VIOS router. I've done that so that we have got different IP networks in the lab. Just like in a real world environment, you wouldn't have all your clients and the storage system in the same IP subnet. So we don't have that in the lab either. We've got multiple different networks here like you would have in the real world. And I've got the VIOS router in there to enable that. Now, one thing that you will see here on this diagram that actually is real and physical is the PC here. That is your PC. 
So the PC obviously needs to be able to be connected to the lab so that you can connect to the devices there. So we're going to give your PC an IP address in the 172.23.1 network, but that's the management network, and that's going to give it connectivity to the ONTAP clusters. Okay, so that's everything that I needed to tell you here. Go on ahead and download the PDF from the website. You can follow along the step-by-step -step instructions there, and you can also watch me doing it in the videos in this course here. Thanks.